Across many parts of Africa, effects of climate change and increasing pressure on land due to growing demands for food is forcing farmers to intensify farming and farming methods. Smallholder farming communities rely greatly on agriculture and livestock for their livelihood. But inadequate supply and poor quality forage is an obstacle to quality livestock production across Africa. I have one milking cow. I joined the project in September 2014 when I saw how free the Bracaria hay from RAB was improving my animal's milk production. I did not realize the change until nearly after a week of feeding my cow with the Bracaria grasses. Besides its use as livestock feed, Brachiaria are known to contribute significantly to carbon sequestration, ecological restoration and soil erosion control and also enhances nitrogen use efficiency, thus reducing greenhouse gas emissions and groundwater pollution. Rwanda In a country where the government has invested heavily in small-scale milk production to boost the rural economy, reports of increased milk yield by as high as 100% is music to the ears. The one cow per poor family program introduced by the Rwandan government in 2006 has seen more than 200,000 farmers receive free cows to date. With proper management of the brachiaria grass, the farmers are able to get plenty of feed from small pieces of land, often mere strips cultivated along the terraces. <laughs> What I like best about this program was the training we received on how to manage the Bracaria grass and also the nutritive value of the grass. I have reliable supply of good forage for my cows and I plan to start making hay for dry season. The Bracaria research program is led by the Becker Ilri Hub and carried out in partnership with Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization, CALRO, Rwanda Agriculture Board, RAB, International Center for Tropical Agriculture, SIAT, Grasslands Technology Limited, and AG Research with the financial support of the Government of Sweden. Out of eight Brachiaria varieties evaluated jointly by farmers and researchers in different agroecological zones in Kenya and Rwanda, Four top performing varieties are currently being evaluated on farm for adaptation, herbage production and livestock productivity by over 1,500 Kenyan and 525 Rwandan farmers. I look forward to planting more of the Brachiaria grasses in the rainy season. I also intend to keep breeding my cows until I get a hybrid. My current cow is local. But I believe with this grass, I'll be able to sustain a hybrid milking cow. My greatest wish right now is to visit other farmers and see how they are managing their cattle. Seed is a most appropriate planting material for the establishment of Brachiaria grass for farmers who want to grow it on large plots. When using seed, a farmer needs 2.5 to 3 kilograms of seed per acre, which is sown at the onset of rains in well-tilled seed beds. When seed is not readily available, farmers can use cuttings for rapid multiplication of this grass. The grass covers soils rapidly with dense canopy, which makes it difficult for weeds to thrive in the Brachiaria fields. I have bought more cows from the proceeds of the first cow, and I have extended the area where I'm growing the Brachiaria grass. I have enough feed for my cattle all year round. I cut and it regrows very quickly. The grass will normally be ready for the next cut in about 45 to 50 days, especially during the rainy season. At this stage, the grass has higher nutrient content, especially protein, than napier. Farmers are advised to carry out routine top dressing after every cutting or grazing, using well-matured compost, farmyard manure, and rock phosphate. I would advise other farmers to acquire Brachiaria seeds given its satisfactory growth habit and benefits. Farmers should be feeding their cows on Brachiaria grasses. I think 
more farmers should be trained on how to make use of this grass. The goal of the ongoing Climate Smart Brachiaria CSB program is to enhance livestock production in East Africa by increasing the availability of quality forage to the livestock. Ultimately, the program hopes to contribute to increased incomes, food and nutritional security, and improved livelihoods for smallholder farmers through climate-resilient forage production.